Hi, this is Paul from finishyoursong.com and I want to finish off this little series looking at the racks in Cubase's mix console by having a look at how you can copy settings from one channel to another and having a quick look at some of the presets that are available as starting points when you're mixing. The way in which you copy effects from one track to another depends on whether you want to copy just one effect or whether you want to copy all of the effects in a particular rack. To copy the effects from one channel to another as a job lot is simply a question of clicking on the header of the rack you want to copy and dragging it across to the track that you want to copy it to. Voila, job done. If you just want to copy one particular insert, say, or ascend, or if you've got a set of stacked um, effects and you only want to copy one, then you simply click on Alt and then you click and drag until you get the little plus button lighting up at the bottom, which you may not see in this video because of the way the cursor is done, but then you drop. Ah, not done that properly. I've moved the deesser rather than copy it. But there you are. Alt, click and drag, copies your effect. The same is true of the EQ. If you want to copy the EQ settings, just click and drag. And as you can see, the EQ is now copied across those two channels. The same is also true of the channel strip. If you want to copy the settings from one channel strip, one track to another, click, drag, voila, it's all copied. If you want to copy just one, alt, click, but with the channel strip, what you have to do is copy this to its target destination. You have to copy saturation to saturation, compressor to compressor, gate to gate. Otherwise, it won't work. If I tried to copy that noise gate and put it here on the saturation, I've got Alt, Noise, it's not having it. It won't let me do it. But if I drop it on the gate, it will let me copy it across. And as you can see, by the fact it's usefully dropped open the gate, you copy with all the settings identical. So that's how you can copy either the full part of a rack from one channel to another or just a component within the rack from one to the other. The other thing I want to do by way of finishing off is to have a look at the presets. Now Cubase comes with an awful lot of presets for the various effects that you can have on the inserts or the EQs but perhaps the most interesting ones are the channel strip presets. But what I want to do is just to show you one thing about the channel strip presets that isn't immediately obvious. We'll use this channel here, which is actually a parallel compression track, but it'll do for illustration. As you can see, the channel strip is empty and the EQ is neutral. So I'm going to load a preset on the channel strip. Click on the little box here. Load strip preset. And we have all the Alan Morgan presets that have been done for the channel strip. Go into drums. And we'll pick something that's suitable for a group, if we can find something. Uh, drum overheads, big country should do us. As you can see, it's loaded in channel but it's also loaded in an EQ. If we just open the channel settings box, we can have a look, and as you can see, it's got a dip and a boost and then a bit of a shelf. Under normal circumstances, whatever you're EQing may or may not benefit from this EQ setting. So I think it's always worthwhile if you load a channel preset as a starting point just clicking those, you can get them back just by activating that EQ, just so that you can hear the effect that the effects are having on your sound 
before you start allowing the EQ to interfere. It may be that you've already decided on your EQ for this. It will get overwritten if you load a channel strip. And I don't think there's any way to load a channel strip without loading the associated EQ settings that go with it. This is a bit of a problem if you've worked hard to get a good EQ on a sound and then you decide you want to start using a free channel preset. You'll have to start from scratch and make your own if that's what you want to do. And that's it. Just a couple of thoughts about using the racks in Cubase by way of finishing off. So until next time, take care of yourselves.